Hello Drone Fuses, my name is James and to kickstart my 10 days to 1.3 series where I'll be posting great videos every single day in the lead up to 1.3 that will make your gameplay better, I'm here to give you some life hacks. Now I love life hacks, what's not to love? A little bit of advice that makes your day better. Now my favourite way to get advice is through the good advice my lad. This is basically a meme that goes around with a sassy joke that basically gives great advice. So I wanted to recreate that in Terraria. Now all of these can be used no matter what version of Terraria you're playing, if you're playing the console version, the mobile version or the PC version, these should work for you and you should enjoy. All the credits for this video will be given in the description because some of these are actually taken from the Terraria forums, so I thank all of the people who submitted them. So with that out of the way, let's begin our Terraria life hacks. Okay, so my first piece of advice is really good if you want to do speedruns or you're just really interested in finding the dungeon. So if you stumble across the jungle in your world, well, you're on the wrong side for the dungeon. The dungeon is actually over here. So depending on what side it's on, it's directly opposite and that is the exact same for every single world. A useful tip, like I said, if you want to do speedruns, just pretty useful knowledge in general, to be honest. Now this one goes the same for snow biomes. If you want a snow biome, it's actually directly opposite the jungle. So if you're looking for a jungle or a snow biome, Here's the easiest way to find them. Also, you're probably most likely to find a snow biome before you are a jungle because snow biomes spawn closest to spawn. Okay, so now here is one that's a little bit niche. You probably won't ever have to use this, it's just good to know. So as you can see, this house is missing a door, right? So let's fix that. One thing that you can do is actually build your doors out of platforms. So all you have to do is just mine up to here like this and then start building platforms down like this. Okay, and then do it on the other side. Like this. And now this is technically a valid house. Why this is good is that you can actually just run through. So if you wanna make a nice little area where you can run through all your houses and not have to worry, this is actually a great way. The reason why this is, is actually because of like platform areas like this. Like if you have a tall house, usually most people make like box houses like this. What they do is, what they'll do is they cut a small area out here and they put a platform downwards. So it does technically still count as a door, but it also works vertically. And it's really nice if you just want a fast way to get through your house. Okay, for this next life hack, I'm going to teach you how to make your own flag in Terraria. Now, the first step is to actually go to the pirate NPC and buy some sail. You don't need too much. Pirate flags can be quite small, but they're great for bigger builds. So we're going to go up here, and we're going to go over to this little setup that I've got. So this is actually just a piece of rope, and all we're going to have to do is just build a cross like this. Maybe, I don't know, like, like this big. Yeah, that'll do. And then if you want to customize your flag, all you have to do is get a simple paint roller and then you can paint whatever you want on there. And let's say I want to do, uh, let's see, I picked the wrong paint for this, but the idea still follows. It's a pretty useful tip just to add a little bit more customization into your world. It looks pretty good when you actually view it out on the map. So there's a useful tip just for you. Now we're actually going to be using shadow paint once again for this life hack. And this is how to make a secret teleporter door. So as you can see, the current setup that I've got, it's just a bit of wooden stone wall. And what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to use the paint roller like this to actually create an outline like that of where I want my shadow door to be. And I'm going to scrape a little bit of paint off there because that was a little bit too much. And then I'm going to use a paintbrush to actually paint the teleporter itself. And there you go. There is your secret teleporter door. So if you look from afar, what we'll do is we'll actually put a wire on it there. Let's put it on there. Uh, we'll put some wire going down like this to here. We'll put another pressure pad and that should teleport us, right? So what you can also do is you can also paint the button. There you go. And that should help you make a pretty nice little teleporter door. So there you go. Okay, so here's a pretty useful tip. Let's say you want to extend your inventory and you're running out of space and you're out and about. What you have to do is carry around with you a workbench and a piggy bank. Now a piggy bank can be bought from the merchant for one gold and it's pretty damn useful. So let's say you want to put in your bold water. Let's say it's getting in the way. All you have to do is put it in, take out your little pickaxe, smash the whole thing up and then press the magic mirror 
and we'll go back to our house and here's our piggy bank at home and there is our bold war. It's a great tip to extend your inventory and it works on all Terraria platforms. Okay, so for this next life hack, it's just another small cosmetic change that actually looks really, really nice. This is how to create your own fruit trees. So let's say we're gonna use this big tree here. What we're gonna do is we're gonna start dangling off some of this pumpkin block. Pumpkin block is pretty easy to get. All you have to do is grow your own pumpkins and you buy pumpkin seeds from the merchant. So here we are, we're gonna dangle a few more off. We'll dangle one there. Uh, we'll dangle one there and we'll put one and what you can actually do is put them inside the trees as well so if you want if you don't want to do that what you can do is actually just mine into the block just a little bit there and we'll get rid of this pesky thing and we'll put one there and all you have to do is just paint them so we're going to paint them red so here's one there's another and what you can actually do is you can actually leave them orange if you want or you can paint them yellow and yellow looks pretty nice too so this is my last piece of advice and it's great for all players. If you want to actually use this on depending on what version you play, if you're on PC, all you have to do is keep tapping that W key. If you're on console, you have to keep pushing the stick up and if you're on mobile, you just tap above the character. So what you do is you just jump, keep tapping up. All you gotta do is keep tapping it pretty fast, pretty fast, pretty fast. And you won't get fall damage. How awesome is that? It's a little secret Easter egg and I hope you guys don't mind if I share that one with you. Try it out, it's a great one. So that's been about it for today's Terraria life hacks. If you want to download the images I actually created for this video, you can do, and they're in the description below. Feel free to use these and share these and post them wherever you want. I did create them and I give you full permission to do whatever you want with them. Make sure to create your own too, and if you've got a great life hack, leave it in the comment section down below for everyone else to enjoy. Thank you all for watching, my name is James, peace and I'll see you tomorrow.